Hello students, my name is Niyati Said and thanks for watching Edipedia Word videos. My topic for the presentation is the sixth section of the chapter excretion and osmoregulation that is excretory products and their elimination. In this section of presentation, we'll be studying about the composition of urine. So the urine composition is affected mainly by three factors which are those first is nutritional status of the body second is the state of metabolic process that occurs in the body and third is the ability of the kidney to selectively handle the material presented to it so these are the three factors that affect the urine composition on an average, a person produces around 1200 to 1500 ml of urine per day. The volume of urine depends upon fluid intake and level of physical activity, temperature and extent of sweating. Urine is yellow in color due to the pigments such as urobilin and urochrome. Eurochrome it is produced from the bile pigments and which are those bile pigments biliverdin and bilirubin. Urine is acidic in nature with a pH about uh, 4.8 to 7.5 except after meals due to alkaline peptide its uh, pH uh, comes to the alkaline becomes alkaline in nature okay and its specific gravity is about uh, 1.03 okay now uh, so urine is sterile in nature about 95 percent of water is there in the urine and nitrogen containing waste uh, are also there uh, in the urine such as urea uric acid ammonia and creatinine these four are uh, nitrogen containing waste okay and it contains electrolyte also and as I have told you that they are uh, urine is yellow in color due to the pigments such as urobilin and urochrome so the light yellow color of urine is due to a pigment called urochrome what is urochrome it is produced from the bile pigments such as biliverdin and bilirubin Eurochrome is formed from the breakdown of the hemoglobin in the liver. Okay. So, you can say that uh, urine is a pale yellow colored fluid. The yellow color is due to the presence of the urochrome pigment formed from the hemoglobin of dead RBCs in the liver cell. And it is acidic in nature with a pH ranging from 4.8 to 7.5 except after meals due to alkaline tide it becomes alkaline in nature and hypertonic. Note that though glomerular filtrate is alkaline urine is acidic in nature okay and it has a faint anomalic odor due to presence of urinote compound this is because of this compound it has a faint odor it soon gets a strong smell of ammonia which forms as a result of degradation of urea okay and there are uh, around three factors that influence the urine formation which are those first is diet second is weather and third is physiological and psychological state of body please note that normal constituent of urine has two constituents first is organic constituent and second is inorganic constituents organic constituents are urea uric acid creatinine and vitamin C whereas inorganic constituents are water NaCl, calcium and ammonia okay ammonia is present in traces okay and apart from all these it is seen that uh, abnormal urine conditions such as glycosuria in which the presence of the glucose in urine uh, 
is there okay and it occurs in the diabetes mellitus affected person hematuria in which the presence of blood or blood cells in urine is there then that is known as hematuria likewise ketonuria keto means ketone bodies so the presence of abnormally high ketone bodies in urine is termed as ketonuria and uh, fourth is uh, pyuria pyuria means the presence of wbcs or pus in the urine then that condition is known as pyuria and uremia uremia is the presence of excess urea in urine is known as uremia okay so uh, these were the abnormal urine condition and this was all about the composition of the urine so thank you and keep watching edupedia word videos